joined by Hofstra women's basketball coach Krista Kilburn Stavesky here at Hofstra Basketball Media Day. Coach, welcome. Hey, thank you. Uh, coach, just touching on on uh, you know theme of your team. You know, you have a lot of players back, a very experienced team coming off a 20 win season. How are you dealing with the expectations that will probably be on your program this coming season? You know, I, I made a statement today, and, and I was really serious about it, is just trying to keep that little bit of excitement, that little bit of fun, so you can just focus on taking care of business, and the winning will take care of itself. So I think that is a challenge for us as a staff and, and, and for our, you know, our seniors to kind of you know, really f keep that message. You know, it comes from the top all the way down, so you can uh, you know, not put the pressure, because it is what it is. You know, we're going to be prepared, we're going to be ready to go, and the winning needs to take care of itself. No, very veteran team with 12 returnees, only one freshman. Um, you know, rookie, yeah, rookie of the year in Ashune Durant, the third team selection in Kelly Loftus. You know, you just mentioned Darius Falk has been playing, you know, um, at, a, at a real high level. Good problem to have so many so many excellent players and, and a deep bench as well. Yeah, it is. I mean, we, we are extremely deep in the backcourt. Um, I think you'll be surprised to see, you know, our depth that will be in the post with Sandra Dongmo really kind of stepping it up for us. But but Darius, Darius is separating. I mean, she is, uh, you know, becoming the kind of player that we all knew and everybody from the area when we recruited her when she was in high school. And uh, so it's been fun to watch her transformation and, and to watch Kelly's transformation. I think the maturity of Kelly Loftus, uh, you know, on the floor and just really learning how to play through any type of failures and, uh, you know, with Crystals, like her and Crystal both, very similar type of highly competitive players and then getting them to continue to mature. You know, Joe spoke about that with the maturity. You know, not only did my seniors are maturing, but my juniors really got to step up and, and really play that role. So um, just proud. I'm just proud of these guys and looking forward to, you know, what the season's going to bring. And, and I think you'll see some great things out of, out of them. Now, after uh, Ashune's Rookie year, see a rookie of the year, mid major freshman of the year, and the list goes on and on. How does she top that? I, again, that's a big one for uh, you know getting her just to let the game come because I think she's kind of getting to put a lot of pressure on herself. She's not uh, you know a, a really flashy kind of kid. She's not a loud and vocal. That's not her personality. She just really comes in and go to work. And so I see her. I'm just trying to take that pressure off of her a little bit. And uh, she's vital. Her and Angie White, but are vital to our success in the backcourt. But she is vital. Um, yeah, uh, in the front court. I'm sorry. She is vital um, for us to be involved in our scoring, and I think she's gotten physically stronger from last year. I think her versatility and her range has stepped out. Uh, you know, she's she has a lot more to her game than how she played as a freshman, and now it's going to be you know the job of me kind of stretching her a little bit from that, and then just having her have fun with this thing. And that's a that's a big uh, that's a big challenge for me. Uh, you know, to get her just to enjoy the sing and, and just, you know, take each day and, and not stress about what was last year. And really, you know, it's easier to say, it's harder to do, but I think that's a, that's a big task for us. All right, a little more than uh, three, almost three weeks till the start of the season. So, Coach, good luck in 2015-16. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate the time.